My name's Joanne Robinson, and I'm an actor in regional theater, television, and film, and, um, and I just finished the show, and I'm happy to be here. I enjoyed the performance tonight, and it's so crazy to meet you. I told you about my story with my grandmother and her being a fan and told me to give her your regards. Uh, this is a, a beautiful thing to watch you perform. Thank so you. So being off stage and having a chance to get some break, a break, how does it feel to be back on stage? Well, it, it's weird. It's like I was telling you, I, since I was 15 years old is when I started in theater in high school mm -hmm. and then have worked consistently ever since, and I have never had even a year off, uh, and I'm in my mid-60s now. Um, but when COVID hit, I was doing a show called Pipeline here at New Stage Theater. We had to close a week early because of COVID, and I have not been on stage since that time. So it's been about two and a half years, and I have never gone that long before. And it, 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 it is different. It, it did... Um, it did shake me a little uh, mentally yeah. and, and make me think, I, I think I can still do this. <laughs> yeah, oh, you did. It, it was absolutely amazing. It was abso Thank absolutely you. amazing. So for the role, for people who haven't had a chance to kind of get into theater, uh, tell us a little bit about your role in this particular production and just uh, just a g general overview of the storyline for people who may not know and want to uh, get Invo involved and informed on theater. I okay. like this. Okie doke. Um, the name of the show is Lend Me a Soprano. It's written by Ken Ludwig. And it's based on a show that he wrote uh, about 35 years ago called Lend Me a Tenor. He has just switched the roles around where the female roles from Lend Me a Tenor are now the male roles and the male roles are the female roles. I actually did Lend Me a Tenor here at New Stage about 35 years ago. My husband played the tenor. I played his wife, the Italian wife. Wow. Um, so this is this is all coming full circle. The role that I play, Mrs. Wiley, she runs the opera house, and she, um, and it's a real different kind of character than when the when it was played by a man, mm -hmm. because this is set in 1934, and for a woman to be a real powerhouse mm -hmm. running an opera it would be an unusual thing back in 1934. I never thought about it like yeah. that. Yeah. So so for her to be a a tough kind of tough cookie mm -hmm. and, and running the show was a real different kind of take. So, like, so, so with that being said, knowing that you know this has uh, you know a historical setting in the time and place, how did you find how did you find that way to kind of sit it sit uh, sit the uh, the role in perfect? Because I mean, I just it looked and sounded amazing. Thank uh, you. It was it sounded like this. If you were to do this in the 30s, that this would have been something huge. It seems like the reputation was on the line. It had to go right, and uh, you did such an amazing job. Mm -hmm. So, what was the influence behind that? Thank you so much. Well, the show in general is a farce and that's a particular style of acting. It's, it's real fast paced and it's just like those madcap comedy mm -hmm. movies back in the 30s and 40s and even 50s like Billy Wilder I believe was one of the, the big directors of, of those types of movies and I love those movies. I grew up watching those movies mm -hmm. and I feel like I was really informed about this particular style of acting from the, from the time I first was a little kid and first started watching those madcap movies with Katherine Hepburn and uh, Rosalind Russell. Mm. To me, the character I play is a little like a Rosalind Russell kind of character. Um, and the timing, I think, comes from being familiar with that style and watching those movies growing up. I just, I was weaned on those kind the of influ movies. The influence. I, so, you, how and why did you choose New Stage? Because I tell people a lot of times about, you know, New Stage and all of the beautiful things. I got a chance to come here as a student. When I was in law enforcement, I got a chance to do security for it. Oh, cool. And to be back here and to see the beautiful talent from around the world. I know you've traveled and did things around the world. Uh, what's so special about New Stage for you that makes you keep coming back? Well, I love New Stage. Um, I, I lived in Los Angeles um, from 1978 through 1980. I was there for 11 years and um, 
and that was all through my 20s. Um, and then, I, because of some personal things that were going on in my family, I felt like I needed to live close to family mm -hmm. again. And I moved to Mississippi. I didn't realize there was a professional theater here in Jackson until mm -hmm. I got here. I was actually doing stand-up at the time in some clubs in Hollywood. And I I was thinking maybe I could get on a stand-up circuit and travel. But that I, I just fell into new stage real quickly mm -hmm. and then started, fell in love with regional theater in Jackson general and then started doing regional theater uh, around the country. Mm -hmm. um, but this is my home base and has been since about 1991, I believe was the first first year that I worked here. 90, wow. Wow. I believe it was January of 91. And I'm born in January of 91. Oh. On the, the, 20, the 21st of January, 1991. Ah. Yes, yes indeed. That's, uh, this, uh, it's so beautiful. Ah. It's so beautiful. It's so for, the, for a young actor or actress um, that's thinking about getting into theater, if you had to give them like one piece of uh, uh, critical advice, what would you give them? Well, I said this a couple of nights ago when we had a talk back. Only go into this profession if you feel like you're hardwired for, for it. This is what you're meant to do and you won't be happy doing anything else because it's a, not an easy life. Mm -hmm. You know, there you have to have a pretty thick skin and chances are you probably won't make a whole lot of money doing it. it, it you could make a mm -hmm. boatload, but most people don't. Mm -hmm. So that's why only do it if you feel like this, you were born to do this and that this is, this is where you were meant to be. Life's work. Yeah. That's life's life's work. work to let the legacy uh, uh, portion of it. This has absolutely been an honor to speak with you. I know you're tired. You don't got a chance to perform for us tonight. It was absolutely beautiful. On the behalf of Dirty Napkins, I just want to tell you that you're an icon, you're a legend, and we absolutely appreciate you for taking the time to speak with us after your show. Thank you and, so much, my I love. Can't, I can't wait to see you perform again. And I can't wait to tune into Dirty Napkins. Yes, ma'am. Ah! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And, and I hope to meet your grandmother. I will make sure that I, I get her to you. I will make sure I get her to you. She, right. she will absolutely be pleased with this. Fabulous. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you.